Stadium here in College of the Canyons is Congo FC and your defending United Women's Soccer Team Champions, SC Blue Ladies and gentlemen, we kindly ask you to please rise and remove your hats for the hero of our national anthem, the star Spangled Banner. to announce the starting 11 for your defending UWS Soccer Champions, SC Blue Heat. Beginning with number four, Lauren Sesselman. Number six, Iris Rabat. Number seven, Lauren Saviana. Number eight, Maddie Perez. Number nine, Say Adam Loken, number 12, Zoe Burns, number 13, Sydney Vermillion, number 15, Cindy Artiaga, number 17, Salome Pratt, number 22, Helena Sampaio, and best for last, number 23, Savvy King. That is your starting 11 for UWS defending champions, SC Blue Heat. Gentlemen, and welcome to this historic matchup, the very first UWS soccer matchup, starring your 2021 defending UWS soccer champions, SC Blue Heat, facing off versus the visiting side, Congo FC. Carlos Hernandez here, happy to be here alongside LA Sports Today. Shout out to the camera and the crew members for putting on this great, spectacular broadcast episode today of UWS Soccer, and here I am now with my very good friend Jose. How are you today, my friend? Oye, como va? Bien, bien. Happy to be here, too. This is, without a doubt, one of the best, one of the best soccer play in Southern California, so we expect a beautiful, beautiful night of soccer here in Santa Clarita, California. 
Well, surely things are looking beautiful. Just look at this sunset and look at this beautiful new facility here. Like I said a couple of seconds ago, the very first match, her historic first match of UWS Soccer, SC Blue Heat facing off against Congo FC. And no doubt, great expectations for SC Blue Heat after a successful 2021 season. They're surely on the, on the spotlight towards repeating as back-to-back -back champions. There you go, and there you have it. The crowd is ready, we are ready. It's just a matter of seconds before we start this beautiful, beautiful soccer game to be live on what platform? LA Sports Today. There you go. Soccer Saturday, don't we all love a good soccer Saturday night? Why not, Monday through Friday, we're working hard for the weekend. What a great way to celebrate the weekend with some great soccer on Saturday. Beautiful, beautiful night. Great crowd and attendance here, and no doubt we've got some star. We got some stars in the soccer scene here at College of the Canyons from several, several conferences. Many, many college players form this great, great SC Blue Heat squad. We'll get more into that as this game goes on, but surely a lot of talent, my good friend Jose, here in front of us. No doubt, there are, there are even some players that are representing their country, and they're here to keep that beautiful, that beautiful game alive while they are away from their uh, school. Minutes ago, the whistle has blown, the ball is now rolling. It's game time from Cougar Stadium in the College of the Canyons. Carlos Hernandez here, glad you could join us alongside here with my good friend Jose. The opening seconds are in the books now, and here is Congo FC on the attack now. Going full speed ahead now is Congo FC. Good broadcast piece for here in front of us. That is number 18 in control of this ball, went taken away by Lauren Sussman. Great pass by Iris Rabat. Now she goes to the right side now for Sydney Vermillion. You mentioned great international experience. That's one of them, Jose. Sydney Vermillion, spectacular player for Armenia. And the captain representing Blue Heat right here in Santa Clarita. So if you're not ready to watch this game, it's because you don't love soccer. No, no, no. Only soccer lovers and soccer fans right here in attendance here. And so here we are now with Iris Rabat now. Moving that ball forward. Here we are now. That is... Number 21 turning out to Sydney Vermillion, looking ahead, eye on the prize, that's finding that ball getting deeper and deeper into the penalty area. Number 21 going all the way back up for Sydney Vermillion, or nearby, to be exact. Lauren Sussman now, another great international legend right there for Team Canada, we'll get more into that after this play comes to an end. Right here, right now, here is number 12 in the penalty box, in it to win it, here we go now with this play going as the referee says. It'll be a goal kick, if I'm not mistaken, for Congo FC. Great build-up, great energy, great passing sequence by SC Blue Heat. Yeah, Blue Heat was asking for the corner kick, but the ref was just a couple of feet away from that play, so decided to go with the goal kick. And here we are now with a goal kick. Now it's going, it's going, and there it is right there. Now for number 22, it falls down for SC Blue Heat. Number 12 to be exact, Zoe Burns. No doubt we've got another international star right there with Team Canada as well. More details onward and forward throughout the broadcast. For now, this is Congo FC starting from the bottom. Hoping to go to the top now. Give away there. Not much to worry about for Lauren Cecilman and Madison Perez. There's also some great college pride here, my good friend Jose. Speaking of college pride, Madison Perez just got a touch on that ball representing Long Beach State. As a matter of fact, their head coach is here, Mauricio Gracia. No doubt, go beach pride right here in Santa Clarita. There you go. And just let you know right now we have about three or four international soccer players right now on the field for Blue Heat and precisely Blue Heat are the first team to go on the attack. Savvy King with the cross now it's in the penalty area the ball is loose there's the clearance and there we go now with Congo FC responding picture perfect and clearing that ball that very dangerous cross right there by Savvy King no doubt she was ready to see her pass go into the back of the net but here we are now take two for SC Blue Heat Canadian sensation Lauren Sesselman taking her time looking ahead off her left foot passes it forward now onward and forward now with SC Blue Heat building momentum that was a good pass but unfortunately that ball goes outside the field go kick for Congo FC. It was a little long but the intention was there it was perfect it was right to the corner where it hurts if it was a little shorter no doubt it would have been without a lot of pressure for uh, the visiting Congo. Yes, he's looking at winning it back quickly here. Zoe Burns now. Passing it to the right, onward and forward. Here is Essie Blue Heat on the attack now. And it's taken away now by number 21 
of Congo FC. Taken away now, full speed ahead by SC Blue Heat. On the right side we go now, that ball is still in play. What can SC Blue Heat do here? It's in the penalty box. Opportunity here, opportunity is a coming for SC Blue Heat. Here we are now, number 17 has to go to the direction of number 23, but there's a defender right there clearing it well and right on time, because SC Blue Heat was all over the penalty box right there. Yeah, it was Salome getting ready to strike that ball. It was a little short, and two defenders came to the attack right before she struck the ball. Here we go now with Congo FC looking for a response now. So far, the early opportunities have been in favor for SC Blue Heat, but, but no doubt Congo, they've got their tactic and that's the setup for the counter, if I'm not mistaken. No doubt, two minutes, two, three minutes, the first two, three minutes, it, it has been all Blue Heat. And we go all the way to the back now with starting goalkeeper for SC Blue Heat, who's in control of this ball right now, turning to Lauren Sesselman. Spectacular, spectacular career by Lauren Sesselman. Bronze medalist with Team Canada and a great soccer figure in the women's soccer scene, specifically here in Santa Clarita. Down the right side, here we go now with SC Blue Heat. Gaining momentum, in it to win it. Good, good dribbling right here. But the referee says, no foul, no whistle. We play on now, ball is played long and forward. And once again, that's, that's number two that Congo FC have done, that they gotta be more precise in getting those balls into the correct feet if you ask me like this, like Jose. Correct. And uh, the, visiting, the visiting team, Congo, comes from uh, Utah, from Salt Lake City, to be precise. Great on the attack, heel. Blue Heat. Pardon me for that great back heel right there. Great insight by my good partner here from LA Sports today, Jose. Yes, visiting side is from Utah. Represent Utah in the house this evening. Goal kick right here now for Itala Serrano. Also another international star in the field, playing for El Salvador. Amazing, amazing international talent right here in front of us. Correct. And in fact, right here, Natalie Quesada from Congo. She's a local girl. Uh, she's from Santa Clarita, and she's with the visiting team. Well, well, well. Local soccer pride and no doubt filled with great soccer talent. Referee blows her whistle and it's a foul and it's awarded now for SC Blue Heat. They play quickly now. Iris Rabat now turning to number 21. Bell Rowley if I'm not mistaken. And onward and forward now with Zoe Burns. Playing it in now. SC Blue Heat getting deeper into the box but seems to be missing that, that final player positioning from a forward for being the best acting a great passing sequence and shooting that ball to the back of the net. Correct. Uh, number 21 is Elena, Elena for Blue Heat. <laughs> well, after seven minutes of this first half, uh, we have seen Aubrey, the, the keeper for Blue Heat, touching ball only once versus uh, the visiting Congo keeper five times already. Oh, wow, wow. Congo FC now. Working their way from the midfield in the goal of going into the offensive area. They're going full speed ahead slowly but surely now as I speak. Deflected well now by Lauren Sesselman. There's the rebound. There's Sydney Vermillion turning to the left side. Or from the Mark Broadcast booth, excuse me, it's to the right side. But from Sydney Vermillion, that was to the left. To Madison Paris and here we are now with SC Blue Heat. Turning now to Zoe Burns. The space, playing it calmly now for number 23, that being Sadie King. She goes back now for Zoe Burns. Elena now number 21. Happy to thank you for my good partner here today. Number 21, Elena, going back now for Madison Harris. She turns to Sydney Vermillion. An opportunity at the work here for SC Blue Heat, defending UWS champions. No doubt the spotlight is on them towards repeating as back-to-back -back champions. And they're proving it right here with their great offensive talent. Here we go now. That is number eight, or excuse me, that is number nine, if I'm not mistaken. Say, say, Adam Mal Malukin, excuse me. Yeah, she's uh, another international player, and great expectations for this tall, very, very tall girl, and uh, she goes very well on high ball. Zoe Burns now in the penalty area, turns now to her colleague, and there is the first goal of the game. If I'm not mistaken, that is Say Adam Lukin. It's the first goal of the game, and it's for SC Blue Heat. We were just talking about this girl, and she put that ball right where it hurts, where the keeper cannot go as low, and it was, it was a powerful shot. There was no opportunity for the keeper for Idalia. Spectacular, spectacular moment for Said Adamalukin. Even better, 
It's the first goal of the evening, and why not better late than never? Goal for SC Blue Heat. It's 1-0 in the first half. SC Blue Heat versus Ponzo FC. Said Adamalukan with the first goal this evening. For those of you who are just tuning in, it's getting started for SC Blue Heat on the scoreboard at this very moment. Great goal. No doubt, what a great passing sequence once again. Started with Zoe Burns on the right. And now let's see how Congo responds. Not good right there. Zoe Burns again, taking that ball away. But there's a deflection off her pass. There is Savi King turning out to Elena. Elena calming things down, going to Iris Rabat. Number seven joining in on the fun now. Lauren Saviana, if I'm not mistaken. Lolo. Onward. Lolo, excuse me. Lolo it is. Happy to once again stand corrected by my good friend Jose. Oh, we're the forward now. Oh. There goes the header. It's going up and away. And it goes into the gloves now for starting goalkeeper for Congo FC. My, oh, my. SC Blue Heat was just knocking on the door right there. That was just a little, a little high for uh, Salome. Uh, number 17 for the Blue Heat. She jumped a little early. She's, she connected the ball, but she didn't go in back of the net. Here we are now with Congo FC responding. They're getting the shot onward and forward and it goes to the side netting. Not much danger there for number 30 for SC Blue Heat starting goalkeeper Aubrey. Here we go now with Aubrey ready to play short now for Madison Harris. That was the first on goal shot by uh, Congo and it was a little off to the left. Did not go near the, the post so Aubrey was just Keeping an eye on that ball. They say defense wins championships, my good friend Jose. And I see the defense as a very star-studdled team for SC Blue Heat. And no doubt led by spectacular experience by Lauren Sesselman. Up and coming talent, Madison Harris with Long Beach State. No doubt defense looking good for SC Blue Heat. Correct. Uh, we have very good players in every, every area of the field. We have on the defense, as you said, Lauren. We have on the mid on the midfield, Zoe. She moves a lot. She moves a lot. She carries the ball. She pushes the pressure onto the visiting visiting teams. And up forward, we saw how uh, Say didn't didn't even hesitate on that shot. And that's the one zero right now. Opportunity here now for SC Blue Heat. It's going, it's going. There goes the shot and it goes off the crossbar. My oh my. It goes off the right post from our broadcast view. It goes off the left post from the goalkeeper's view. Missed opportunity and the post says not today for SC Blue Heat. It was, it was Salome once again, number 17, about to score. She's been very close in a couple of opportunities. Maybe the third one is a chance. Iris Rabat going to the ground. We play on, says the referee. Elena in control of this ball. Keeping her patience, turning to Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns, full speed ahead, getting it back in for Elena. Savvy King to the left side. Here goes Savvy King, full speed ahead. Can't stop, won't stop, sends in the cross. Now ball gets deflected. There's the rebound for Elena. What can she do here? She sends in the shot. It's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. No danger for Congo FC, but once again, great offensive energy, great offensive mindset by SC Blue Key at, the, at this recent play. Number 21, Elena had the opportunity, but unfortunately there was a defender, one defender, and it was enough, enough to send that ball a little soft, not enough to beat the keeper. Almost the giveaway there. And there is Lauren Sesselman finding the rebound and passing it forward now for Lolo, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, number seven, Lolo. It's another, another of the Pistons for this blue team. And she moves a lot, she, she moves all over the field. And her and Zoe are pretty much the ones that control the timing of this game. And when it comes to moving the ball into the penalty area, nothing stops them, even if their defenders are right front and center. That is how goal scoring mindset offensively they are. And that is Elena calming things down and passing it to number 17. Salome Pratt, there goes the cross now. It's played in, and there's the goalkeeper with Salvadoran experience, Itala Serrano, controlling that ball into her gloves. Correct. Salome has been very close, like we said, and she's just right there. She's in the middle of the field, right in front of the keeper, and that puts a lot of pressure on the keeper. She knows, she knows that it's just a matter of time before she gets another opportunity, and the third one, like I said, it could be the charm. Third time the charm promises for SCP Heat. 
and, and, and the key right here is the energy starting from the flanks with so Burns, Savvy King, no doubt they've got the next step in regards to how they wish to pass the ball moving forward to the offense as the referee blows a whistle and it looks like it's it's possession awarded for Congo FC, yes indeed, they're throwing. And still waiting for that response from Congo FC, but that just shows you how well balanced SC Blue Heat is. Yes, yes they are. And here, here come another attack on the right hand side. Here that's, we go now. that's how, and that's where the, the attack has been originated for Blue Heat. It's a matter of controlling and seizing your moments, and SC Blue Heat are doing exactly that. And no doubt they're handling very well how they are the favorite thing to say in regards to being back to back champions. But surely you can't deny what a spectacular season it was a year ago. Surely this, this is more promising than a year ago, but no doubt anything can happen throughout the season. But when you look at this roster, it's all aligned for SC Blue Heat to be back to back champions. The first game, the first game of the season, and they already had 1-0. Zoe Burns, there goes Zoe, her shot gets deflected, there's the rebound, and there's Congo FC's defense cleaning that ball up and sending it to their starting goalkeeper, Idala Serrano. Deflected by Madison Harris is the goalkeeper's pass, and here we go now with Elena off a head flick, winning the rebound. Here is Sally King, turning now to Iris Rabat. Moving the ball well now is SC Blue Heat, there goes Lolo, shot, and it's into the back of the net. What an amazing goal! Goal number two, spectacular from Lolo. It's 2-0, SC Blue Heat. 2-0, Carlos already for Blue Heat. It looks to be a wonderful, wonderful night. Wonderful first game for Blue Heat. 2-0, it's already looking good. All has been looking good the minute the whistle has blown because SC Blue Heat means business. Getting things offensively perfectly started and no doubt the defense uh, at least, you know, they're, they're getting in their good workouts, but no doubt they're they're coming at the right moments, including those balls from Congo FC, but no doubt SC Blue Heat has started things perfectly, perfectly in this first evening match. So, um, Lolo, number seven, saw that the keeper was a little bit ahead, ahead of the, the small box, and put it right, right where it belongs, right where it belongs to be, uh, consider a beautiful goal. Eye of the tiger, eye on the prize, eye on the ball going into the back of the net. That is what was going through Lolo's mind and she delivers a spectacular goal in this first half. It's two goals, SC Blue Heat versus Congo FC. Now there's Congo on the attack now. And safe to say it's our first time looking to the right side of the field now. As Congo now awakened and ready to get things moving offensively. Number four now takes a bit of a stutter step. Still with the ball, still dribbling, Savvy King defending well. That's two players all over number four. Talk about that great pressure defensively by SC Blue Heat. They are really, really living up to their roles here today. With 27, with 20, 28 minutes left, Blue Heat is already 2-0 ahead in this game, and it looks like they are going for more. Spectacular, spectacular kick flick by Elena. My, oh my, we gotta get a replay of that because center worthy, amazing, amazing kick flick. But unfortunately, it goes outside, throw in for Congo FC. Elena is one of the tallest players representing Blue Heat. And she goes well on the attack, but she also controls the, mid the midfield. So this is another, another one of those players that you have to keep an eye on. She could keep the attack ongoing for the visiting Congo. Free kick awarded now for Congo FC, and here we go now with the play ready to resume any minute, any moment, any second now. Taking her back steps is the Congo FC player, and there we go now. The play has now resumed, number 18. Bit of a semi-good pass, but it gets taken away now by SC Blue Key. Not for long. Responding well is number four for Congo FC. She receives the ball and passes it forward. Full speed ahead, it goes outside the field. Therefore, it'll be a goal kick now for Aubrey. No doubt, no doubt, we've got a great season lying ahead for SC Blue Key. Talk about this brand new venue. They'll also be going on the road, but surely, once again, when you talk about whether playing at home or whether playing outside of home, the experience, the connections, and most importantly, the talent, talk about a perfect triple play that always shows up from SC Blue Key at every game. Correct. Uh, 26 minutes uh, remaining for this first half, and the Blue Heat 2-0 already. And they have kept possession of the ball pretty much the entire uh, 20, 
20 minutes that we that we have seen this first game of the season. Iris Rabat not receiving the ball. Iris Rabat in the penalty box and she scores. Iris Rabat has scored. Esti Blujita scored. Goal by Esti Blujita. It's goal number three. And no doubt that was the third time the charm. Am I wrong here, Jose? No, you're correct, Carlos. Iris, Lolo, and C. They already have three goals for the Blue Heat. And it looks wonderful, like we said at the beginning of this game, for the Blue Heat. They're dominating this game. There's hardly any opportunity for uh, Congo. And every time they step on the, on the opposing field, three, four, even five players of the Blue Heat try to take that ball away from them. Zoe Burns wants to extend the lead, but there is Congo FC taking that ball away. And no doubt you want to do that with Zoe Burns because already she was ready to get opportunity number four in the works. And here we are now with Lolo. Spectacular, spectacular goal from her part. Turning back to Lauren Sassoumet. No doubt she needs to get on her fun and getting a goal herself. She sends it a good pass. It's deflected by number 18. And here is Congo FC now started from the bottom. Hoping to go to the top now. Good one time passing sequence the first time this evening, if you ask me. They're playing this ball forward. Number nine, getting deeper and deeper. Passing that ball forward for number two. Here is Congo FC. What can they do here? Opportunity is now at an end. The referee says that ball was last touched by Congo FC. Throw in for SC Blue Heat. Once a great, well, once again, great defensive presence by SC Blue Heat. Yeah, three, four defenders. Right away, they come to the attack and they move forward with Elena. Elena now turning to Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns already looking ahead towards who, she, who is she gonna give this ball to. She goes back for Elena, and Elena goes back for Savvy King. Moves to her left, controls the ball well, in front of two defenders, still going to the left. She wants to send in the cross. Can she send in the cross? She first has to move to the right side, and she sends it in now for Zoe Burns. She passes it to be more exact for Zoe Burns. Elena back now for Savvy King. Zoe Burns gets through one defender. Spectacular, spectacular, spectacular dribbling by Zoe Burns. There's her cross and it's defended well now by Congo FC. My oh my. That was a perfect one to step by Zoe Burns right there. And luckily Congo FC cleared that ball away. There was Lolo and, and Salome already waiting for that pass, for that cross. Fortunately for Congo, it didn't go through. Otherwise, we would have been calling the fourth goal of the night. It was headed for goal number four, but right now what seems to be headed now is Lauren Sussman defending at this very moment. There goes the shot. It's going up and about into a sky full of stars. Even better for starting goalkeeper Aubrey for SC Blue Heat. No danger off that play, but that was Congo FC for the first time, if I'm not mistaken, knocking on the door. That was Samantha Diaz, number nine from Congo. Uh, finally taking a shot on goal, but Aubrey was only looking at that ball. It was pretty high. Up and about it goes, and here we go now with a goal kick awarded for Aubrey and SC Blue Heat. It's played in for Zoe Burns, and off that head flick, it falls for Zoe Burns. And no doubt it was a head flick from the opposition. It's a win-win for Zoe Burns, and a win-win for SC Blue Heat, as Elena receives the ball. And we go now to number eight, who will let that ball go into the feet of Sydney Vermillion, if my 2020 vision is not mistaken. Yes, indeed, that is Sydney Vermillion. Armenian international sensation recently participating with the Armenian national team for World Cup qualifiers. That is how legit and star studded SC Blue Heat squad is, my good friend Jose. And one of the team captains, uh, we have three team captains, and they're positioned in a way that all three, all three areas of the field are represented. Opportunity here now for Zoe Burns. Cleared away, better late than never by Congo FC. That ball goes outside, therefore here we go now with possession award and now for Savvy King. You made a very good point. Third time the charm, that's reflected in having three captains here for Reshi Blue Heat this season. And each with sophisticated and very special international experience. Savvy King now making her way through, turning now to Sydney Vermillion. She sends it across, it's going, it's going, and it's going to the back of the net. No danger for Congo FC. Goal kick for the opposition. Carlos, I'm gonna take a, a little, uh, I'm gonna go on a limb right here. I'm gonna say that Blue Heat tonight scores five or more. 
Five or more. I'm looking at lucky number seven, if so. That's just my lucky number, but it could be lucky number seven becoming a dream come true on the field here this evening. It could be other works now. Number 17, but there's a whistle. We have a whistle. We have an offside flag up and about on the sideline referee. She was one step ahead of everybody else. And the flag, the flag man on the other side was paying close attention to her. Salome was trying to go all the way in for the fourth goal. Number four, getting closer and closer for SC Blue Heat, but right now they gotta play defense here. Savvy King wants to take that ball away, so does Iris Rabat. Lolo interferes, rebound in favor now for Elena. It's full speed ahead mode for Elena. She turns now to number 17, but there's the goalkeeper kicking that ball away, but not for long. Now SC Blue Heat, they're everywhere and finding those rebounds easily into their feet. And my oh my, not a good moment there as number seven, Lolo goes down. She's taking a moment but she's up and at it, rejuvenated than ever, and no doubt wants to finish this game because it's all going well for SC Blue Heat. That's one of the things about women, women's soccer. I love watching it. I love calling it. Uh, they don't stay long if they don't feel any pain. They don't stay on the, on the floor for a long time if they don't feel any pain, unlike men's soccer. It's so different. It's so different, and I love women's soccer. Give away by SC Blue Heat, number nine going full speed ahead, but taken away slowly but surely now by Iris Rabat. Savvy King wanted to take that ball away, but in the end, Iris Rabat not able to do so. Congo FC on the attack now, opportunity here now, that ball gets deflected, they're asking for a handball. Referee says, nope, nope, not on my vision, not according to my 2020 vision. It's Aubrey now in control of this ball. The Here ball did hit the elbow of one of the defenders on Blue V, but uh, the referee probably thought that she was not intending to uh, intending to hit the ball with the hand, so she let go of that play. Lauren Sesselman now. She is going to let go of this ball slash play. It's going to be passing it to one of her colleagues' feet, and there we are now with Maddie Paris turning to Sydney Vermillion. And it's already the, the, the communication that we see from SC Blue Heat as to why that is key for why they're so, so ready, one step ahead and getting themselves ready offensively and defensively able to accommodate for sticking that ball away easily. Right, and we can see how Blue Heat, two, one or two touches and they get rid of the ball really fast. So it is really difficult for the visiting Congo to keep an eye on the ball and to try to contain them when they're already moving the ball so fast right before they get to it. Iris Rabat for Lolo. Rabat receiving it again. Lauren Sesselman. Again and again. Spectacular experience by Lauren Sesselman. A proud member of even a brand company, Gold 5 to be exact. No doubt she's doing amazing things off and on the soccer field. But on the soccer field, it's her soccer experience that makes her a perfect captain for the team destined to win it all once again. Simply perfection by Lauren Sesselman. Hongo FC now winning the rebound. In the midfield, we turn out to number four. Number nine of SC Blue Heat. Said Anamalukin wanted to take that ball away, but Congo FC find themselves still in control of this ball. Good pressure by Elena. No whistle, no foul. That ball is going, going, going outside. It's a good souvenir for the great crowd in attendance here. And you mentioned, you mentioned liking, calling, and being a part of women's soccer broadcast games, my good friend Jose. I think the crowd here, they are really enjoying this great historic day. The very first match of SC Blue Heat in this wonderful new stadium, Cougar Stadium in College of the Canyons. And why not? They are the reigning, defending 2021 UWS champions. 2022 now, and they're already winning 3-0, 17 minutes in the first half. Play resumes now, it's Savi King with the throw in. Plays it in for Elena. Savi King receiving it again. Savi King looking back up for Lauren Sutherland, Canadian international sensation. This is it back now for Maddie Paris. And Aubrey will get this ball and pass it forward now for Sydney Vermillion. And Sydney Vermillion will now turn to Aubrey once again. It's that perfect energy, can't stop, won't stop energy that really, really, really makes it difficult to interfere with SC Blue Heat's passing sequence. All right, Carlos, and we can see now the lights at the stadium already on. Opportunity the end now, not much danger on that. As you were saying, my good friend Jose, ball gets deflected, I stand corrected. Now there's something to worry, now no longer. It's problem solved by a deflection going into the feet of Lauren Sesselman. You were saying, my good friend Jose. Yeah, I was talking about the lights when Aubrey 
tried to throw the ball forward, but it hit uh, one of the one of the players from Congo in the head, and Samantha was in the vicinity. She almost took that ball and took the opportunity to take a shot, but fortunately, the defenders on Blue Heat they were ready to recover that ball. Sydney Vermillion, here we go now with SC Blue Heat, winning this ball once again. There's Lolo, no doubt she wants goal number two, but as a whole, SC Blue Heat, they want goal number four. And right now, Congo FC interfere with that wish as they clear that ball away from danger zone. Not for long, Sydney Vermillion cleaning that ball and taking it back for SC Blue Heat. Great kick flick, it's there, not for SC Blue Heat. Ball is still in play, down the right side. Sydney Vermillion, if I'm not mistaken, getting this ball onward and forward. SC Blue Heat on the attack now, down the right side. Elena, if I'm not mistaken, turns to Lolo! She had the vision, she had the ball, she took the shot, and she shoots it wide. And unfortunately, that's not a good moment for SC Blue Heat. Down goes a player, and wide goes the ball from that spectacular shot missed by SC Blue Heat. Lolo was wide open, right uh, at the semicircle in front of the in front of the outside box and she took the ball say it was coming right to her shot it and it was just about a couple of centimeters uh wide on the right post surely 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 she wants to get her name again on the scoreboard but that ball went wide and a very nervy moment that is no longer to worry about. That was Sydney Vermillion in front of us sticking on the ground, but now she's rejuvenated better than ever, ready to finish this first half. As 14 minutes have gone by, and no doubt in terms of a grading scale, my good friend Jose, I say it's an A++ SC Blue Heat so far. No doubt. Uh, 14 minutes remaining in this first half, and Blue Heat is already 3-0 three, three on top. See Blue Heat now wants goal number four. Said Alamalukin down the left side, being marked by two, still gets through two defenders. Referee blows her whistle. According to her 2020 vision, it looks like we have a free kick and it's awarded for SC Blue Heat just outside the box. Do I smell goal number four, my good friend Jose? I think so. Say was running away with that ball. The, the referee was giving her the opportunity to continue with the play, but then she lost the ball. So she called a foul right outside the box. This is a great opportunity for Blue Heat. I think she's going straight to the, to the goal. Free kick opportunity, ready to be taken now by SC Blue Heat. It's going, it's going, it's going away from goal. My oh my, it looked like it was going in for goal number four, but somehow that ball's not into the back of the net. And there it is now, into the gloves of Italia Serrano. My oh my, how is that not meant to go into the back of the net? Sade has thrown that ball perfectly. It hit the bottom of the post and then it ricocheted, it went outside, and Lolo had another opportunity. It was a, a great opportunity for number four, but I stand corrected. It hit, no, yes, it is the right side. It is the right side of the goal. My it was oh just my. inches, I mean, not even an inch away from going inside. Knocking on the door was Said Alamalukin, only to see her spectacular free kick shot go off the post. And there is Congo FC now kicking this ball away from danger zone. It's going, it's going into the feet now of Iris Rabat. She got Lauren Sesselman. Lauren said, take it, Iris, and she will take it. Girl power mode on here now for Iris Rabat and Essie Blue Heat. Ball played in well now. And there is Idala Serrano kicking that ball away only for Savvy King to win the rebound. Said Alamalukin down the left side. No doubt her girl power mode is on. And it's going full speed ahead down the left side. She sends in the, well, she was, it was looking like she was going to send in the cross. She gets a kick flick, but in the end, that's smart because it's a kick flick that goes off the Congo FC defender. Corner kick FC Blue Heat. Yeah, corner kick on the left-hand side now. We're gonna see how many how many players of Blue Heat go and look for the next goal. Two, four, six, seven. Savvy King now sends in the ball forward, diving save. There's the rebound, it's going, and it's into the back of the net. That's goal number four, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my, what a party, party, party upset for SC Blue Heat. That is not goal number four. That is an offside. My oh my, I was getting ready to call goal number four. Yeah, the referee took it away. The After the after the shot, two players of the Blue Heat were ahead of everybody else. And 
The flag went up right after the shot. Lolo with the head deflection. And there is, Lo there is Lolo's head deflection, finding the feet of Congo FC. But taken away now by SC Blue Heat. That's Elena down the right side. Now Elena in it to win it in the penalty area. Patiently waiting to pass this ball and she does so for Zoe Burns. Elena receiving it once again. Zoe Burns getting offensive, getting deeper into the penalty area. Zoe Burns just look at that in front of three defenders and still controlling the ball like if she's not even seeing one defender in front of her. There's the rebound, there's the ball, and there we have this play ending, ending right now with a goal kick in favor now for Idalia Serrano. My oh my, SC Blue Heat are just, just, just playing a bit harder and finding goal number four because no doubt it should already be granted, but the ball just simply does not want to go in for goal number four. There they were again on the attack, and we could see Soy. Soy was on this side. Now she shifted uh, all the way to the other side of the field, and we could see how she's controlling the tempo of this game. Simply spectacular from Zoe Burns and spectacular collegiate experience as well with USC. USC pride on the field here of Cougar Stadium. No doubt their motto, fight on, is perfectly reflected by Zoe Burns being so offensive and so talented and getting the flank plays ready for either a Savvy King or Lolo towards getting that ball into the back of the net. Simply spectacular goal scoring vision and goal scoring offensive ball movement by Zoe Burns at this, at this very moment in the first half. Simply spectacular. Nine minutes, nine minutes remaining of this first half. Blue Heat on top, 3-0. And finally, Congo on the attack. This is Congo FC now. Moving to the left is number 18. Said Alamaluken interferes and Lolo takes the ball away officially. No whistle, no foul. We play on now. Elena now turning to Savi King. Savi King now turning to one of the three captains this season for Resi Blue Heat, Lauren Sesselman. She turns to captain number two, Iris Rabat, and there's captain number three, Sydney Vermillion. Safe to say, the three musketeers, the three captains for this season for SC Blue Heat. Yes, indeed. Onward we go now to the back now with Maddie Paris. Maddie Paris for Lauren Sesselman. Lauren Sesselman asking for the assistance, asking for the players to get ready and up close towards receiving the, the very essential pass that will get the, the offense moving and going full speed ahead towards getting another play underway for possibly scoring goal number four. That's Elena now going forward. She keeps on going. Said Alamalukin off the rebound in control of this ball. There goes Said. Good, pa good pass forward, but not much power on that one as there goes Idalia Serrano for the diving save. And no doubt it's it's SC Blue Heat just still staying true to their tactic. One time passing ball movement and it's getting better and better as the minutes go by. I think Salome slowed down a little bit thinking that Saint was, was going to take the shot from outside the box. She decided to go with the pass and but by that time Salome had already slowed down. Side Alamaluke receiving that ball from Elena. And there is Lolo receiving it. Lolo needs some assistance. There we go now with Sydney Vermillion answering the call of assistance. Good ball played forward. There is the head flick. It's there now in the penalty area for SC Blue Heat. But we play on now and SC Blue Heat tries again now outside the box. Lolo for Iris Rabat. Sydney Vermillion looking ahead. Great, great cross. It's going, it's going. And it's not much far away from the goal net, but it goes into the back of the net of the goal net. And no doubt that was headed for goal, but in the end, it goes up into a sky full of stars for Idalia Serrano and Congo FC. Beautiful shot from the right-hand side. A little high, but no doubt it had a ton, a ton of danger on that, on that kick. Goal kick now lands for Lauren Sesselman. Iris for butt, turning to Maddie Paris. Or safe to say the ball turned to Maddie Paris. That ball took a deflection, if I'm not mistaken. But in the end, that just shows you how attentive and very, very, very alert SC Blue Heat is. Whatever ball is given to them, it's time to move full speed ahead. I haven't seen any, anyone of, the, of this blue team taking a, a break on the field. Everybody's moving. Everybody's going after the ball. Every ball is an opportunity to score another goal. Ball is played forward, it's there now, and there is Idalia Serrano once again for the diving save. And as they say, or as how some experts would describe that, that, tile, that style excuse me, of soccer playing, that sounds like Tiki Taka if you ask me my good friend Jose. No doubt, they're touching the ball first, and two, one and two touches. 
at the most, and they get rid of the ball really fast. Elena finding Lolo. Lolo now goes back now for Maddie Paris, and easily Maddie Paris goes to Lauren Sesselman. All of Congo FC playing defense at this moment. And no doubt FC Blue Heat, they have been everywhere offensively. Look how things are. Six minutes left in this first half. Blue Heat is winning. And all of, all of Congo, all of them are defending. They should be attacking, but they're all defending because of the pressure from Blue Heat. No doubt they have dominated this first half and they've had their eye on the prize, which is a dream come true. Four goals scored, or actually three goals scored, excuse me. I stand corrected. I got my eyes set on goal number four for SC Blue Heat. Well, it went in back of the net, but it was taken away by the referee. Remember, Carlos? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's still playing in my mind, but it was not counted, sadly. So, Savvy King now defending well, needs some assistance. She turns to Maddie Paris, and Maddie Paris turns now to Lauren Sesselman. Lauren Sesselman rocking a nice pink headband in the field of College of the Canyons in Cougar Stadium. Down goes Lauren Sesselman, and at last the sideline referee raises their flag. My oh my, it took a bit of a, a, a bit of a delay to call that, but that was Lauren Sesselman going down in plain sight. And we could see, we could see uh, Aubrey, the keeper from Blue Heat, moving from side to side on the box. She's trying to keep those legs warm. She hasn't been uh in any way or form, so she has to be at least into the game by moving herself. Iris Rabat now winning this ball. Said Alamalukin looking ahead. She, she's got some nearby partners and she turns now to Savvy King. Savvy King, good pass forward for Elena. Elena turns to Said and Elena receives that ball once again. In front of two defenders, still gets in the perfect pass. There is Said now. She wants the perfect pass to be given for number 17, Salome. But Congo FC defend well. And here is their response after that play by SC Blue Heat. To the left side they go now. This is number 19. Onward and forward. Can't stop. Won't stop moment for her. And there's Sydney Vermillion interfering off that, off that offensive play for Congo FC. And now it's Lauren Sussman calming things down. It's just very difficult to get through this defense from what I've seen so far in the first half of say. No, they're perfect. They're perfect. Uh, they haven't had any, any time during this uh, first half that they have been put in a difficult situation. They have controlled every single play during this first half. Salome, to the right side we go now for Sydney Vermillion. What can she do here in front of two defenders? She gets a cross in, it's deflected. Referee gestures off her right, off her right arm and hand. It's a corner kick for SC Blue Heat. And here we go now. Now I'm really starting to sense goal number four here. Or is it just me being a fan of SC Blue Heat scoring goals, my good friend? Okay? No, you should be right, Carlos. Uh, every time, every every time Blue Heat uh, covers uh, uh, the area on the right hand side and on the corner kicks, they have been extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous and they don't stop after one, two, three plays. They just keep on going. It's a non-stop offensive vibration that SC Blue Heat plays well in regards to getting these plays underway from the corner kick area to be exact. Onward and forward now, Iris Rabat for Lolo. She wants goal number two. She'll have to go to her colleague. And there we are now with a ball being played in. There's the header, there's the ball. It's into the gloves now, but we have an offside flag up and about by the sideline referee. Referee corroborates that. And once it's a goal again, kick for Congo FC. Once again, uh, Salome was one step ahead of everybody else. And the referee on the right-hand side, she was a 10. Where is he? It's, it's a key, I'm sorry. Stand correctly. Maddie Paris now turning to starting goalkeeper Aubrey, and here we go now with Aubrey looking ahead, taking her time, because if you ask me from Aubrey's point of view, every SC Blue Heat player is open and unmarked and ready to get down to business. Correct. Two minutes of this first half, Blue Heat on top, 3-0, even though the scoreboard says 4-0, it's only three. They didn't, they didn't fix it, but one goal was taken away. Zoe Burns going full speed ahead, turning to Elena. Elena now, girl power mode on, turning to Zoe Burns. Back for Elena, great passing sequence. It's there now for Elena in the penalty box. She goes, and that's goal number four at last. Goal by SC 
Deep Blue Head. We were witnessing how Elena took the ball from behind half field, took it all the way in, a couple of combinations. They gave her back the ball and she took it all the way in. Four goals in this first half. And as you were saying, Carlos, seven might be the lucky, the lucky number. Short of three. And with this first half ending, it's getting more and more possible for that being the lucky number on the scoreboard for SC Blue Heat. Spectacular, spectacular goals scored in this first half by SC Blue Heat. And they're not done. They want to keep it going. And why not? Their talent says it all. They mean business. We see the scoreboard stop at two minutes and is showing five goals for Blue Heat. We are here to tell you it's 4-0 and it's less than two minutes now. Onward and forward now. Here we are now with Zoe Burns. She wants a goal. Zoe Burns turning to her colleague, Savvy King. She's in the box. It's going into the box, but Savvy King goes down. Referee says no whistle. That ball was in the box, but cleared out somehow. And here we go now with SC Blue Heat winning this rebound now. Elena now, recent goal scorer, turning to Lauren Sesselman. In the midfield is Lolo, giving it back now for Lauren Sesselman. Savvy King, no doubt she wants to get her goal. She wants to join in on the fun on the scoreboard, but here we are now with the famous Tiki Taka underway now for SC Blue Heat. That's Zoe Burns, but unfortunately she was a few feet away from connecting with that pass. Savvy had the fifth goal, and you see, if you can see, Carlos, she was uh, taken down by a couple of defenders and the keeper, and she didn't say anything to the ref. She could have easily said that that could have been a penalty kick. And the referee blows her whistle. It looks like it's a foul, and therefore it will be awarded for Congo FC. And there goes the ball now, onward and forward. Ball is deflected by Savvy King. The referee blows her whistle again. It's a foul now for FC Blue They play quickly now. There we are now. I'm Irish not sure if the... Burns. Carlos, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no worries. I'm not sure if the referees have noticed the fact that uh, the clock is at two, and it hasn't moved. My, oh my. All the attention is on the field on SC Blue Heat right now. There goes the ball. There's the sideline referee raising his flag once again. That's very common if you ask me by the sideline referee in regards to SC Blue Heat getting into the box and calling offside flags. But no doubt that's a, that's a breaking so news right there on the they, scoreboard. They're just telling us that they stopped the, the clock at two minutes and they compensate whatever, was, uh, whatever time was wasted during this first half. Fascinating to know. And that is the sound of the whistle. The ball has stopped rolling. It's halftime. The first 45 minutes are in the books. It's SC Blue Heat 4 versus Congo FC 0. That concludes the first 45. Stay with us. It's just a short 15 minute halftime break. And then we'll be back on LA Sports Today for the second half to commence. Your stadium in the beautiful campus of College of the Canyons. For those of you who are tuning in, it's SC Blue Heat 4. Congo FC 0. Carlos Hernandez still here with you. And still alongside the great Jose Mayo. Oh my Jose, what a, what a kickstart half by SC Blue Heat for the first game of the season. No doubt, uh, Blue Heat came with the mission, with the mission to win the first, this first game of the 2022 season, and they are doing it with class. 4-0 already in the first half, and we are looking forward for more goals from the Blue Team. Seconds ago, the whistle has blown, the ball is now rolling, the second half is now underway, and this is Congo FC now playing this ball into the penalty area, but easily defended there by Lauren Sesselman. And here we go now with SC Blue Heat turning to their starting goalkeeper, Aubrey. In control of this ball is Aubrey. And she turns now to Iris Rabat. Iris Rabat, a bit of a struggle. In the end, the ball gets deflected. It falls for Congo FC now. A different start to the second half for Congo FC. Let's see what they do here. Number 21 gets a shot. Not much to worry there for Aubrey, but definitely for that short sequence, a very different start for Congo FC. Yeah, Congo came a little late, but they look to be ready to play this second half. Slowly and surely taking her time is Aubrey before delivering the goal kick pass and it's going, it's going, long and it's going, it's deflected down and about it goes now for SC Blue Heat, Iris Rabat turning now to her colleague and that is Said Alamaluke now in control of this ball, boy did she have a good goal herself in the first half and we said lucky number seven, we said that was the magic number for how many more goals SC Blue Heat was going to score based on that first half performance, I think it's very likely if you ask me Jose. 
And goes Alina. Number 12, Zoe Burns gets a shot and it goes up and about into the back of the goalkeeper net. My oh my, she had the vision, she had the ball, she took the shot, but she shoots it up and about up in the back area of the goalkeeper's net to be exact. Miss opportunity by Zoe Burns, my good friend Jose. Two minutes of the second half and there is already one, one opportunity for Blue Heat and Zoe was just inches away from that crossbar. Head deflection, falls down for Congo FC. Playing it slowly and surely from the defensive side of the field. Not for long now, taken away now by SC Blue Heat down the left side. That is Sabi King, if I'm not mistaken. And there we go, now with that ball still in play, Congo FC getting this ball away from danger zone as I speak. Onward and forward now is Congo FC moving this ball, passing this ball, but it's deflected by SC Blue Heat. Throw it now for Congo FC. No doubt things seem a bit different for, for Congo FC and how they started this, this second half because in the first half it was all SC Blue Heat dominating Jose. No doubt. And Congo seems to be already made up made up their mind that they're going to attack regardless of what happens in the back. Here we go all the way to the back now for Aubrey starting goalkeeper for SC Blue Heat. Sydney Vermillion is open. And here we go now with SC Blue Heat's defense at the works now. Aubrey once again receiving the ball. There's two players to her right, Sydney Vermillion. She goes to the left for Lauren Sesselman. Can go wrong with Lauren Sesselman. Always ready to get that ball moving full speed ahead like he does so right now for Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns, that's not for Irish Rabat. Irish Rabat now turning to her colleague and here we are now. It's full speed ahead mode now for SC Blue Heat. Lolo now turning to her colleague Mary, number eight. And here we go now, full speed ahead mode for Sydney Vermillion. Great pass by State Alamalukin for Sydney Vermillion, Armenian international sensation. Onward and forward now with number 18. That being for SC Blue Heat for this evening. JJ. JJ, JJ to be exact. Thank you for that great tip, my good friend Jose. Congo FC on the attack. Now they take that ball away, but not much danger on that play as SC Blue Heat solved that play very, very, very easily. And just, just still attentive as he will hit and getting this ball into the people right now. JJ is one of the one of the substitutions that we got in this second half for Blue Heat. She's already playing and the back uh, defending alongside of uh, number 13. Sydney Vermilion. Sydney. Armenian international sensation with World Cup qualifying experience. That is how the stars are shining for SC Blue Heat squad this season. Here we go now. Iris Rafat receiving the ball. There goes the ball down the right side. Seyda Lamalukin a few feet away from receiving that pass, but already it's still the same old situation by SC Blue Heat. Moving the ball full speed ahead in great Tiki Taka style into the penalty box. Yeah, first five minutes of the second half, and the score continues. 4-0 in favor of Blue Heat. Congo FC now wanting to at least get one goal. The goal of honor, as they say. But right now, SC Blue Heat making it very difficult. Here we go now. There we go now with SC Blue Heat. Started on the bottom. Hoping to go to the top now. Sydney Vermillion for Said Alamalukin. She goes back for Sydney Vermillion. Sydney has a colleague. She goes forward and she will go forward for Lauren Sesselman to her left vision to be more exact to our right vision from the broadcast to the boot. That ball went for Lauren Sesselman and here we go now with SC Blue Heat in the midfield getting ready to go full speed ahead. Good ball played in for Savi King. She's in the penalty area. She sends in the cross. It's deflected. There's a rebound and there is number two for Congo FC. Not playing that ball well as it falls for Sydney Vermillion. Sydney Vermillion will let that ball go outside. Throw in now for SC Blue Heat. It's Say Alamalukin, unfortunately getting an interference, a very painful one as she goes down to the ground. But she's up and at it, rejuvenated, and ready to finish this second half. Might be cramping on that right calf, but she's recovered. Sydney Vermillion off the throw and finds Lolo. This is Lolo now, going full speed ahead, going all the way back now to the defense. Number 18 to be exact, JJ, and that's Lauren Sesselman getting it back for JJ. Elena receiving it, she was nearby, goes back for JJ, JJ for Lolo, Lolo back for JJ, Good one time pass in sequence, there goes Lolo, can she get her second goal, she gives him the pass for Zoe Burns, and there is Italia Serrano for the diving save, my oh my, SC Blue Heat just, just got more and more dangerous after that, after that halftime break offensively. We can see how Salome run into one of the defenders, 
but she's already up unrecovered. Number four for Congo FC, passing this ball in the midfield. Two SC Blue Key players forcing the giveaway, but the referee blows her whistle. It's a foul in favor now for Congo FC. Mm -hmm. And just that mindset, that mentality to really add on pressure and making it difficult for the opposition to pass the ball, that is also key for why SC Blue Key is not just dominating the scoreboard, but possession as well, Jose. The pressure has been on from the first minute. From the minute the whistle was blown, the pressure was on by the, by the Blue Team, and they have been relentless. Zoe Burns, great international experience with Team Canada. An amazing collegiate experience with USC. She's been fighting on the minute the whistle has blown here in Cougar Stadium in the College of the Canyons. And here we go now. Players are saying it's last touch by SC Blue Heat. SC Blue Heat saying it was last touch by Congo FC. Referee says it will be possession awarded off the throw in for SC Blue Heat. And here we go now. To the back we go now with Lauren Sussman. A legend for Canadian soccer, women's soccer to be exact, a glass ceiling breaker. That is who Lauren Sesselman is. She turns to JJ, and here we go now. Yeah, it is number 17, not able to connect with that ball. But JJ receives the rebound, number 17 receiving it again. It's take two now for number 17, to be more exact. That be number 17, according to my roster, Salome. Salome. Thank you for that inside, my good friend Jose. Salome for Elena. It's there for Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns to make a 5 0, but we have an offside flag. The sideline referee raises his flag. That's an offside. It's a no go, no goal for SC Blue Heat, but that was, that was SC Blue Heat knocking on the door. Again, number 12. Zoe, she's just an old, all terrain. She goes on the attack, she goes back and recovers, and she was about to score right now. As a matter of fact, she scored, but she was not on a legal position to score. Very common from the sideline referees in regards to raising their flags on what has been a, a phenomenal goal-scoring offensive mindset by SC Bluki. And, and the key player for why that happens is Zoe Burns. She is just unstoppable and in every inch of the penalty area when it comes to putting in those crosses into the box. The pass was a little a little late, but she was coming in full speed with the intention to put that one behind and make it number five. Here is Essie Blue Heat now in the midfield. There we are now with Elena. Working her way through, still with the ball, but sadly losing it. And here we are now with Congo FC's player going down. Referee says proceed, and we proceed indeed. It's full speed ahead mode now for SC Blue Heat. Number 17, Salome goes down, but there's no whistle, there's no foul. We play on now, and Salome's reaction says it all. How is that not a foul ref? Finally, I hear a complaint from one of the players saying, how is that not a foul? And indeed, it looked to me that there was some contact, but the referee decided to just let that one go. Say it on a Malukan for Sydney Vermillion. Eye on the prize, eye of the tiger, eye on the ball, going for Said Alamalukan again. And here we go now with JJ receiving the ball. SC Blue Heat now taking their time now to really work something magical, sophisticated from the back line for moving forward to the penalty area. This is Elena now joining in on the fun for Sydney Vermillion. She goes now. Great one time pass in sequence by SC Blue Heat. Here we go now. This is number 12. Zoe Burns now for Elena. Ball played in well now for Salome. Salome gets through her defenders. Passes it for Sadi King. That's Lolo now. Has Elena nearby. She goes to Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns has Lolo nearby. And Lolo plays it in well now for Said Alamalukin. She's down on the right side, she sends in the cross, she had good space, but she sends in the cross now, there's Congo FC now clearing that ball. And no doubt it's just great connections, great connections offensively for SC Blue Heat that we're seeing here. Said is a, a representative, uh, representative of Jamaica, and Said has been relentless also this beautiful night with already one goal. Salome in the right side of the box, she, she, she gets in the shot and it goes off the crossbar. My oh my, that's how a glass ceiling sounds when it's broken, but unfortunately it goes off the crossbar and that was soon to be a glass ceiling broken by Salome in delivering a spectacular goal number five, but the post says not this evening. My oh my, the post has been the enemy for SC Blue Heat's offense. At least three times already and we still see Salome going after that beautiful goal that she's trying to score and I 
I am going again on a limb, and I'm going to say that Salome is going to score tonight. She wants to get her name on the scoreboard. For sure, she wants to extend the lead for SC Blue Heat. For now, we have a corner kick taken by Iris Rebuck. There goes the corner kick opportunity. It's going, it's going. There's a header, there's a header, and there's a save by Idalia Serrano. That was Sydney Vermillion, if I'm not mistaken, with the header. My, oh my. Goal number five seems to be getting closer and closer. Idalia Serrano, also a very experienced player, defending the three posts for Congo, she deflected that one to Konica. Play resumes now with Congo FC getting that ball away from danger zone and the referee blows her whistle. It's a foul in favor now for Congo. And the referee asking for that ball to be put in its precise position prior to playing the, prior to playing the ball back again in play. It's a free kick awarded now and the referee will allow this free kick to commence at her order, at her request. She'll make her way to the midfield, and here we are now with the whistle being blown, indicating that her play to resume now. And here we are now with Congo FC getting the free kick underway, only to see possession loss. And this is go time now for SC Blue Heat. You definitely don't want to do that when a team is just so offensive mindset. Give away the ball easily. No doubt. And in the meantime, we see how Lolo is taken out of the game. And in her plays, uh, we'll see who came in. We'll let you know soon. Zoe Burns now in control of this ball. There's one defender, and she gets to one defender. Amazing footwork by Zoe Burns, Canadian international sensation, enjoying the spotlights here in front of the Canyon School Stadium. My, oh my, Zoe Burns. It just does not matter how many defenders are in front of her. She will find a way to get through you, and even better, not make you, or just fancy style, get passed by you. And we saw right there how Lola was trying to connect with Elena. But Elena was a little late. She didn't understand the intention of uh, Salome. But they were close again. Italia Serrano with the goalkeeper. Kick slash pass. And there we are now with Iris Rabat now going down in the midfield. Referee says play on. Iris Rabat not liking that one. So far that's two players for SC Blue going down. And the referee not taking note of that. Let's prevent a third time experience. Here we go now with Zoe Burns. Back now for JJ. She goes back now for Lauren Sesselman. Lots of players already asking for the ball. Who will Lauren Sesselman turn to for now? She's using the space at this very moment. A glass ceiling breaker at the works now. She turns now to JJ. JJ getting more past the midfield and more into the offensive area. JJ, good ball for Sydney Mervillion. Good one time pass defended by Congo FC. And Congo FC turning to defense for preventing those moments right here. Right there, my good friend Jose. Correct. Uh, Congo has has to defend at the, at the same time, keep the mentality that they have to go forward, try to score that one goal that you were saying, Carlos. Uh, they need to score at least one. That's what they came here to do, but they haven't been able because Luhi, they're just relentless and perfect in every, every space of this team. Well balanced and offensively talented. Ball is played in, it's kicked saved by Idalia Serrano. There's the rebound, here we are now with Congo FC. Getting this ball away from danger zone. That's number 19 going full speed ahead. Who does she turn to? She turns to her colleague down the right side, being marked now by SC Blue Feet's defense. And onward we go now. This is something at the works now for Congo FC. What can they do here? Down the right side. Defense coming together. Defense now responding and cleaning, cleaning that play away from danger zone. Spectacular defending right there by SC Blue Heat. 29, 29 minutes left in this second half. Blue Heat still ahead, 4-0. No doubt, it's all about SC Blue Heat living up to what many are saying, the favorites towards being back-to-back -back champions. And with this type of talent, with this star-studded squad, I say it's really likely we get to have back-to-back -back champions SC Blue Heat this season. We see another substitution. 33. Ghana is already in. And we see a long over there, we'll tell you who came out. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is Sydney Vermillion leaving the field. Entering the game is number 33, Kana Ushida. SC Blue Heat asking for, for a moment for, for the referee to take a note of something. They're objecting a play in regards to how it was a harsh tackle. Referee blows her whistle. And the sideline referee says that possession will be awarded for SC Blue Heat. No doubt all the SC Blue Heat players were in, were in a Law & Order episode. We object! 
<laughs> Correct, Carlos finally there objecting. Even though they're winning this game easily 4-0, they still have the right to a clean and safe game without being uh, harmed or hurt during this game. That what makes us TV stars because we'll be the jury for them objecting like that. <laughs> Iris Rabat now turning to Zoe Burns. There is JJ off the great ball by Iris Rabat, and here we are now with SC Blue Pete. Iris Rabat again playing it for Zoe Burns. There's the great offensive energy. It's there now for Salome. Salome to the right side. Here we go now with SC Blue Pete. Still in it away. Salome sitting in the cross. Ball is deflected. It's a head deflection, and there is Congo FC now finding themselves clearing that ball away as quickly as possible. There goes the counter. It's going through speed ahead. Onward and forward now with Lauren Sesselman bringing down Congo. Congo FC's player and the referee blows her whistle. It's a foul awarded for Congo FC, but no doubt very difficult to get past an Olympic medalist, Lauren Sesselman. Finally, a counter attack by Congo, but defenders on Blue Heat, they were ready to tackle that one. And for sure, they'll be ready to prevent this free kick opportunity. It is to be taken any minute, any moment, any second now. Four goals to zero. Still the same score worth from the first half. SC Blue Heat 4, Congo FC 0. Carlos Hernandez here alongside with LA Sports Today, Jose and the great camera crew from LA Sports Today. There's the ball, it's deflected, there's the rebound, it's cleared away now, but balls for number 12. She moves to her left, and you mark well, but still moves to her left very well. Number 12, ball is played in, defended well is that play by SC Blue Heat's defender. If I'm not mistaken, that's JJ, if I'm not mistaken. Onward and forward now with Salome. Giving that ball for Elena, passing that ball to Elena, and here is Elena getting through one player. Elena still going for it, she can't stop, she won't stop. Elena passing it for number 33, but that ball was just a few feet away from her and there we go now with Congo FC's goalkeeper Idalia Serrano with the ball at her gloves. Kind of didn't understand what uh, Elena was trying to do. She got rid of three defenders and pushed that ball through but kind of slowed down thinking that perhaps Elena wanted to go all the way in. Zoe Burns looking ahead. Zoe Burns wants to get through a defender. Amazing, amazing kick flick pass there, not for Said Alamalukin. She gives in a good ball, it's going into the penalty area, and there is Idala Serrano with the diving save again. And no doubt it's just a matter of minutes for goal number five to come in. It looked like it was going to come in by Salome, but it hit the crossbar. But at least we got a good demonstration of how a glass ceiling is broken. There's no doubt that that shot had a lot of girl power off the, off the right post from a broadcast view and off the left post of the goalkeeper's view. Beautiful job by Salome, and she's been looking for that for that goal for a while already. And like I said before, if she's not taken out of this game, I think she will score tonight. Plenty of minutes left for the second half to see that come true, and no doubt SC Blue Heat, they really want to extend their lead and make a statement. The champions mean business. The champions are not just the favorites. The champions are the talented ones towards making it happen. Back-to-back -back champions, why not for SC Blue Heat? That's a great statement. A little bit of a delay here for the throw-in. We're waiting for a substitution by Congo. Try to see who came in. Phenomenal, phenomenal 2020 vision by my good friend Jose here in the substitutions taking place. And that's the whistle for play to resume. Now Zoe Burns turning to Elena. Elena moves to her into the back side into the defensive zone. That's Lauren Sesselman going back now for number 18. JJ now, tons of space. She can use it to go full speed ahead, and she does. Now she goes back a step, but there she has Elena. And even better, she turns to Lauren Sesselman, and here we go now with Lauren Sesselman looking ahead already with her eye on who is she going to give this short pass or long pass. She decides to go all the way back now for Aubrey. And a bit of a, a different approach for Essie Wookie because in the main, the, the main attempt in the first half was to play it from the back and just make it go full speed ahead one two time passing sequence. But that one two time passing sequence, it seems to be preserved for essential moments if you ask me, Jose. Yes, now they're playing a little more relaxed. They know that they have this game already, but they want to make a Congo move forward a little bit there to uh, a lot a lot of the time they are back in their own territory 
This is Congo FC now winning the ball, but not for long. That's Savvy King turning to Lauren Sesselman. Lauren Sesselman going all the way back now for Aubrey. Aubrey has two players available. She turns to JJ. Zoe Burns is nearby and available. So is number 33. If I'm not mistaken, that is Hannah Ushida. And here we go now. With Essie Buki turning to Iris Rabat. Iris Rabat for Said Alamalukin. Elena receiving it in the midfield. Elena, good pass for Alamalukin. There's a good ball played in. And there's Idalia Serrano with a great kick flick. My oh my. They're getting closer and closer for goal number five, Jose. As we said, Idalia is the reason why this uh, score is only 4 0. Idalia has saved uh, Congo several times already. Amazing, amazing footwork. Ole, ole by Elena right there with non stop kick clicks and a great, great, great sombrero, I said in Spanish. That was a very good up and at it rainbow painted with the ball touching past her defender. Here we are now with Ushida turning now to SC Blue Heats. Number 12, Zoe Burns gets to a defender. She sends in the cross. Ball is still in play. It's there now. It's there for SC Blue Heat for finding goal number five. The ball is played in. There's the cross. And there's Congo FC finding themselves receiving the ball. Again. It's a gift away from danger. Not for long now. That is Yoshida turning now to Zoe Burns. She wants to get her name on the scoreboard. Zoe Burns with a shot against deflected by Congo FC's defense. My oh my. What a moment. And how is that goal number five? Not in the back of the net. Onward and forward now. Salome. It is a win it. There's the diving save again by Italia Serrano. My, oh my. She deserves the MVP award for Congo FC for today's match. Amazing, amazing, spectacular saves by Italia Serrano, the Salvadoran international sensation. My, oh my. We need a breather here and we need to have a moment to see who's taking the corner. Take his plate shortly now. Down the left side for my broadcast viewers, SC Blue Heat now. There goes the long cross. It's played in now for Elena. Amazing save by Italia Serrano once again. Back to back save. She can't stop, won't stop. My, oh my. Jose, am I dreaming? Is that simply an MVP performance? As I stated before, Italia is the reason why the score is only 4 0 and is not more than 7, as you called it before, Carlos. Italia is simply the best in Congo. Back on stop saves. Amazing, amazing MVP honors for Italia Serrano. Keeping this game four goals to zero. Keeping the possibility for Congo FC to get the goal of honor. And no doubt they deserve it because they got to do it for their goalkeeper who's been spectacular. Spectacular at goalkeeping tonight. Robbing uh, Salome from that goal that she's been looking for. Salome had a, an opportunity with the left foot. And Idalia was right there where it was supposed to be precise. She was on, at the right place at the right time. Offside, we have an offside flag up and about here from the right side of our broadcast booth. It's an offside on SC Blue Key possession will be awarded now for Congo FC. That's very common, very common these past, these past couple of plays with SC Blue Heat getting a lot of us offside calls against them, but that just shows how they are just so, so ready to really make it count after that wonderful one-time tiki-taka passing ball sequence. Play resumes now, and here we are now with SC Blue Heat turning to Elena. And there we go now with SC Blue Heat having to relinquish that ball, or they were, they were about to play that ball back to the defensive side, but that ball goes outside, throw it now awarded for Congo FC. Let's have a moment to look at the schedule for SC Blue Heat. I believe their next home game will be on June 10th versus Impact. We have a team from Utah. Next game, they will have a team from Canada. Impact is in town on June 10th. Talent is coming by more and more often here in Santa Clarita, California. I know that will be Sure to see a lot of great individual experience internationally and collegiately as these games continue in the United Women's Soccer League season. Great to have soccer back. Great to have soccer on a Saturday. And why not? I look forward to working hard for the weekend. Let's celebrate it with some good soccer Saturday. Congo FC now working on something special. Working on the right side. Wanting to get through SC Blue Heat's defense. Here we go now with Congo FC looking for the goal of honor. And it's into the gloves now of Aubrey. Spectacular shot, but it's Aubrey with a spectacular presence making a spectacular save for SC Blue Heat. 18 minutes left in the second half. Blue Heat still ahead, 4-0. Zoe 
Burns now turning to JJ. Elena not able to receive that ball. Here's number four of Congo FC. JJ wants to defend. Number four gets through and there's the shot into the gloves of Aubrey once again. Standing her ground and at the right time making the right save. That's two, two non-stop opportunities for Congo FC. Finally, Congo FC trying to put some pressure on that defense. That very close, very sure, very secure defense that Blue Heat has uh, positioned back there. And it's impossible for them to penetrate, but finally, a couple of attempts. Alamed turning to Lauren Sesselman. And Lauren Sesselman, no doubt she wants to get on the scoreboard. Get in a good cross for her, and she'll easily hit that ball like breaking a glass ceiling, like a glass ceiling breaker she is. Right now, we have Aubrey now controlling this ball and turning to Lauren Sesselman, the glass ceiling breaker for SC Blue Heat. Spectacular, spectacular international experience for Team Canada. Great to have her as one of the captains for SC Blue Heat. Alongside Iris Rabat and Sydney Vermillion, the three musketeers, the three captains, ready to captain well this UWS season. Lauren Sesselman using the space, getting in a good ball now for Iris Rabat. There is Savi King with one time passing sequence, but there's Congo FC now standing the ground and defending well and, and no doubt ready to take that ball into their feet and get offense going. Here we are now with the MVP, Dalia Serrano looking ahead, sending in the goalkeeper's pass. It's a giveaway. It's it's in now for, for SC Blue Heat. Here we go now. Said Alamalukan. She's got options forward. She sends in the shot and it goes way, way off frame. Goal kick for Congo FC. Yeah, she could have passed that ball, but she. She thought that maybe Idalia was a little off her angle, so she attempted a shot. It was unfortunately too wide. Aubrey will be leaving the field now, and here goes the substitute goalkeeper for the second half, that being Mia, number 31. She'll get some fun in the second half, as Aubrey will now be enjoying the, the rest of the second half from the bench, and no doubt she has some very good saves and style, but no doubt, no doubt some, some more spectacular saves, the better saves were done by Dalia Serrano, but no doubt uh, the defense of SC Blue Heat making it easy for their goalkeepers tonight. Yeah. Aubrey didn't really see a lot of uh, a lot of time put in pressure by uh, by Congo, and well, she came out a winner, 4-0. So a good night for Aubrey. A clean sheet, most importantly. First game, first clean sheet of the season. Savvy King now. Here we go now with SC Blue Heat. They're playing this ball forward. It's still played in the penalty box. And there we are now with that ball being last touch. Mishandled by SC Blue Heat. And therefore, here we are now with number 15. Lindsay. Lindsay. Lindsay, number 15. Getting a deflection off that pass. Therefore, it goes outside. It's Idalia Serrano, the MVP for Congo FC, ready to play this ball back into the field. Vela, number 29. Number 29. And... Lindsay, number 15, just came in for Blue Heat. Zoe Burns now. Here we go now with number 15, that being Lindsay. And here we are now with SC Blue Heat on the works now for goal number five. What can they do here? That ball is taken away now. Number 29 joining in on the fun now. That's Bella. Bella Ballard, if I'm mistaken. Bella Ballard joining in on the fun, but there's Zoe Burns now trying to stop this kind of attack, and she does so. Here we are now with JJ, if I'm not mistaken. Passing that ball now for number 15, Lindsay. Lindsay now with tons of space, with plenty of options. She turns now to the left side of the field. Great kick, flick pass, onward and forward. There's the ball. It's in the penalty area, but it's nowhere near an SC Blue Heat player. And therefore, here we go now with Idalia Serrano. Picking that ball up to her gloves. Seeing that ball away from the back of the net. Only 14 minutes left in the second half. Blue Heat is still ahead, 4-2. So now lucky number seven seems in the squint of an eye, slowly but slowly dying down. But plenty, plenty of minutes left in regards to seeing lucky number seven. It's just three goals. It's like taking three pieces of chocolate cake. Easy peasy. I said five, Carlos. Maybe I'm a little My, oh my. I, I, I think uh, <laughs> dinner, dinner time sounds good right about now. And, and then no doubt we would like the good five servings of a delicious, delicious, well-cooked meal. Zoe Burns now for Elena. Elena now calming things down. 
just the amazing control of the ball by Elena, using both of her feet towards working spectacularly and getting past her defenders. A great kick to the class by Zoe Burns. And there is Iris Rapat now. No doubt she's been on the on the field for most of the time. Now I think she's gonna hit the full 90, but Iris Rapat also bringing in great, great experience for FC Blue this season. Yes, Iris just got uh, hit on the on the shin, but the referee was nearby, and she's a little upset. And look, maybe it was a foul, but the referee just let that one go. Talk about fair play, though, because despite those tackles, there have been no yellow cards according to our knowledge and stats. No, there is no no yellow cards. So. Fair play leading the way here as Congo FC gets this ball away from their defensive side of the field. At the works now, they are towards getting that ball into, the, into their offensive scoring area. Give away, it's there for Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns now turning to Iris Rabat. Iris Rabat now for Lauren Sesselman. Lauren Sesselman passing the ball forward for Elena. Good back heel pass. It's there now for Essie Blue Heat. Could it be going number five? It's there now for Savi King. She had the vision. She had the ball. She took the shot and she shoots it way far out into the campus of, Coop, of, of College of the Canyons, way past Cougar Stadium. Missed opportunity for Essie Blue Heat with 12 minutes passing by. Yeah, 12 minutes only left in this second half. Total dominion by Blue Heat. There's no way, there's no way that this visiting team will be able to even attempt to get close. Opportunity here now on the left side. We go now. That is number 33. Her shot gets a bit of a, a weird touch. That's kind of Ushida not able to get a good control of that pass. And that was an easy save for Idalia Serrano. But here we are now. You want to talk, talk easy? How about Essie Blue Heat easily winning every ball that crosses their paths this evening? Well, Carlos, unfortunately, uh, Salome was taken out without her being here now, pardon me, my good friend Jose. That was an opportunity deflected by Congo FC's defense. Oh my, that's bad news bears, but there's plenty of season left in the season. Ball is played in, it's in the penalty area. Here we are now, Hana Ushida playing it in now, but there's the great defensive presence by Congo FC now. There's JJ adding pressure, she wants to take that ball away, so does Zoe Burns. JJ looks at the better angle first taking that ball away, but in the end, it's deflection by JJ. Throw in now for Congo FC. My, oh my, Salome had a very good night this evening it's, it's it's very saddening that she wasn't able to get her name on the scoreboard but plenty of season for her to do that and why not treat herself to a hat trick without a doubt it was because Idalia that she didn't she didn't get the score throw in now ready to commence and here we are now with a substitution for Congo FC short we'll get that updated in regards to our roster stats for now we're waiting for the throw in at this very moment and on the phone now for Congo FC, based on numbers, is number 24. Might have to get a good hold on that pass. There is JJ, turning to Savi King. Savi King will run for it. Savi King will go full speed ahead. And there is Savi King. Who does she turn to? Iris Rabat asking for it. And Iris Rabat will receive it. She's got Zoe Burns to her right, and she turns to Zoe Burns to her right. It's time to shine for the Canadian international sensation. The pass is there now for uh, Zoe Burns once again. That was Bella Ballar with the pass. Zoe Burns receiving it again through two defenders. It's still Zoe Burns. This is the Zoe Burns show right here when it comes to her controlling the ball on the flank. If I'm not mistaken, Carlos, number 16 on the on the left-hand side, that should be Angeles. Angeles, pardon me for that. Zoe Burns once again. Ball's last touchdown by Congo FC. Referee corroborates that. And here we are now with a throw and now awarded for the Canadian international sensation with great collegiate experience at USC. Fight on, fight on, and her mentality when stepping into the field for both USC and as of this season, as of this day, SC Blue Heat. So but surely the second half is coming to an end, and no doubt, we talked about statements, Jose. SC Blue Heat, I think, made more than a statement. I think they set an example on how a defending champion should transition into the next respective season after a successful league recently. That is correct. Blue Heat just dominated the whole, the whole game. Uh, under nine minutes left, about eight minutes, eight minutes and a half, and the Blue Heat in total control, 4-0. It's like an easy one-two step on the field of that championship field. 
They took their one step in winning it. Now their second step is to do it all again. Early bird style. First game of the season. Number three for Congo. Turning to her colleague in the midfield, in the heart of the field, the midfield to be exact. And no doubt, no doubt, what a wonderful night here in Santa Clarita, California. The stars are shining, the lights are out. It's a great soccer Saturday evening here. What a great pleasure to spend it all inside LA Sports today, alongside the great camera crew, and with my great partner for today's match, Jose. Definitely a great soccer night tonight. As we get this ball to the right side now for Kana Ushida. Kana Ushida now sees that ball, the last touch by her defender. Therefore, here we go now with a throw in award now for Essie Flicky. She plays it in now for Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns ready to take on her defender. She takes on one, she takes on two, number three. She gets a good pass for Kana Ushida, but she is a few feet away from receiving that ball. It'll be a goal kick for Idario Serrano. Amazing, amazing passing skills by Zoe Burns we've seen this evening. Correct, Carlos. Kana was probably thinking that Zoe was going to do the whole play by herself, and so she decided to, to stop, but Zoe was already thinking on passing the ball to Kana. And it's those type of players that a defender has moments where there is no room for doubt, but somehow, the doubt comes out towards how a player like Zoe Burns can make you feel vulnerable in regards to how you mark her because it looks like Zoe Burns is going to settle and being one-on-one -on -one and having a hard time passing the ball forward. But Zoe Burns, it's like there's two clones of her. She moves to the left, her other side moves to the right, and she finds herself center of the field already one step ahead and getting past her defender. Amazing, amazing skill by Zoe Burns. Congo FC now looking for the goal of honor. Taken away now by Aris Rabat, but there's a deflection. There's a deflection, and there we are now with the second goalkeeper substitute, Mia now getting this ball into her gloves, passing it for Lauren Sesselman. Here we go now, SC Blue Heat now wants to end this match. And no doubt that we were, we were expecting lucky goal number seven. We're, we're definitely not, we're definitely not gonna get that, but it's still a win. It's still a happy ending lying ahead for SC Blue Heat. Would have, been, would have been more interesting if, if, if we had a, a nice little bet, my good friend Jose. If, if goal number seven came true, it's uh, taco night. Taco night on a Saturday evening, but in the end, you know, we're, we're going to stay with four, and uh, that could be in the works for the next game, if you ask me. I'm down for that, too. Uh, with six minutes, Carlos, there's a possibility with Blue Heat, but they might score the fifth one. Maybe if we mention they get tacos as well. Seven goals come in, quick as a flash. <laughs> Ball awarded now for SC Blue Heat, and here we go now with Zoe Burns allowing Iris Rabat to play quickly for Zoe Burns. Zoe Burns has two defenders. Zoe Burns now still with the ball. It's last touched by Zoe Burns. I stand corrected. Sideline referee says it's last touched by Congo FC, and not a good moment for Zoe Burns. Feeling a bit of pain, but she's able to shake it off. And she's ready for the throw in. Ready to throw in the ball, to be more exact. She has Elena. She turns to Elena. And that ball is last touched down by SC Blue Heat. Here we go now, off the throw in. It's there now, but Congo FC's defense defend well. Iris Rabat now, one of the three captains this season for SC Blue Heat. Passing it to Zoe Burns now. Elena receiving it off of Zoe Burns. It's for Zoe Burns show right now, there's two defenders. Easily passes it away from them for Elena. Elena now, already forward now with Iris Rabat. Elena now turning now to JJ. JJ for Elena once again. Lauren Sesselman joining in on the fun. And this has been the storyline for SC Blue Heat. Players ready, players connecting, players communicating. Let's move forward. One time, can't stop, won't stop passing sequence and getting the ball into the penalty area. Four minutes in this second half. And Blue Heat in control. On go FC now. Finding themselves, taking this ball away from SC Blue Heat. Ball is played in, it gets deflected. There's the rebound now for Congo FC. Is there time for a goal of honor? Right now they're working hard and they're working hard towards getting past a very, very spectacular experience. SC Blue Heat defense led by a glass ceiling breaker, Lauren Sesselman. And what do we have here now? It's a giveaway, but Congo FC able to compose themselves better late than ever. And that is Zoe Burns now receiving it. Zoe Burns now turning to JJ. Final minutes of the second half. Scoreline still 4 to 0. SC Blue Heat versus Congo FC. Carlos Fernandez here alongside Jose and the LA Sports Today camera crew. 
and team bringing you this home opener match. The first one, the historic matchup. It's the first UWS match here in Cougar Stadium, a brand new facility in the College of the Canyons. Happy to have shown you a glass ceiling being broken on two United Women's Soccer Team teams playing for the first time in this beautiful new stadium. And even better for SC Blue Heat being the first championship team to be here and being the home team for this upcoming 2022 season, which is just getting started. And what better way to start this season, this 2022, with the win, with the W, 4-0 so far. Clean sheet, good crowd, great performances. Honestly, with this style of play continuing for SC Blue Heat, this is going to be the common north. Lots of wins, lots of goals, lots of great soccer talent. No doubt. Three minutes left. And it doesn't look like Congo is going to score the honor goal. A few minutes left, a few seconds left. It's the start of the beginning of the end. It's the final moments, the final minutes, the final seconds. It's the final countdown here in Cougar Stadium in the campus of College of the Canyons. Let's see how this game ends officially as it's FC Blue Heat now wanting to make it end under the W column. And no doubt it's a win-win in every aspect. A clean sheet on the goalkeepers, goal scored, great turnout of a crowd here this evening. No doubt it's a perfect win-win in what is expected to be FC Blue Heat to win it all this season again. Another little attack by Blue Heat. Opportunity here now for goal number five. And in the end, that's not capitalized well by, by SC Blue Heat, by number 16, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> Angie Escobar. That's Angeles. Yes. Angeles, pardon me, Angeles Escobar. Being a few feet away from finding goal number five, but that was good defended by Congo FC, but not so good news bears right now as, as their player is in need of assistance towards shaking off the pain from that recent play. And Seeing her, it's dream work. Another good note for Blue Heat, every player saw some action tonight. The wins just keep on coming for SC Blue Heat. It's that type of a good night for the reigning UWS champions this evening. Up and at it goes the Congo FC defender. And the referee receives the ball now from Italia Serrano. Safe to say she deserves the MVP award for Congo FC. Spectacular, spectacular goalkeeping by the Salvadoran international sensation this evening here in Cougar Stadium in the College of the Canyons. Taken away now by Elena. Final moments, final seconds, final minute here. It's going down for real. First home match of the 2022 season. Looks to end on a win in a dominating win for SC Blue Heat. Iris Rabat now turning to Lauren Sesselman. Lauren Sesselman to Iris Rabat once again. SC Blue Heat wanting to kill the time here. Final thoughts on today's matchup between SC Blue Heat and Congo FC, my good friend Jose. Oh, wonderful game. Uh, it, it couldn't be better for the Blue Heat. 4-0, it's a wonderful game. It's a wonderful way to start the season. And we're looking forward for more of this kind of games. June 10th, June 10th versus Impact, if I'm not mistaken. A team from Canada visiting Cougar Stadium here in the College of the Canyons. That's coming up next for SC Blue Heat, if I'm not mistaken, based off the schedule. And now, this game will end for sure on a win as we approach now the final 12 seconds. It's a foul awarded now for Congo FC. Could be the, the, the very last play with the final seconds going and going now. Number three, not able to reach that deflection. It's there now for Elena. It's the final second now. And that is the sound of the final second already coming through. And that is the sound of the whistle. The whistle has blown. The ball has stopped rolling. Game over. SC Blue Heat wins this game dominating spectacularly. The reigning UWS champions win it four goals to zero. Thank you so much for your time and insight, my good friend Jose.